Booties for Black Girl Nerds. There are so many different kinds of dancers in this film, mm -hmm. from classically trained ballet dancers to hip hop dancers. What was the atmosphere like on set working with all these different kinds of dancers? Crazy. Uh, I think the dancers are the coolest people on the planet. Um, and I think they have, you know, more abilities than most athletes. Uh, and, you know, it's a shame that dancers aren't used more in film because they just, they're just so aware of their body. But, you know, between, uh, between scene, scenes, you'll see dancers doing the most amazing things that you've ever seen. Um, these are some of the best dancers in the world. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you attended cat school. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, tell us what cat school is, and did you find a new appreciation for cats after this experience? Yeah, so cat school is uh, it's very interesting. So we uh, <laughs> come into a room, we're all together, and we have a cat teacher by the name of Sarah who um, was giving us all the ins and outs about cats, and we learned a ton. And you implement those things within your character, right? Um, you know, just embodying the cat through and through, you know, the uh, mannerisms and, you know, the fact that, you know, humans, we walk opposite arms and opposite legs, you know, we're walking cats do the same arm, same leg. So those little idiosyncratic things that you got to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. I noticed too with your facial expressions, you mm. have a gift of emoting very well. Mm. And um, with the motion capture technology, you know, it off actually it takes a skill to be able to do that. So what did you do? How did you practice kind of emoting those kinds of facial expressions with the whiskers and mm. all of that to be able to bring that to the screen? Um, it's, you know, I knew this had to be larger than life. This was a specific uh, role. And that was a great question, actually. Um, but you know, this this particular role w had to be larger than life. So for me, I spend a lot of time in the mirror. I spend a lot of time recording myself, um, just so that I can uh, embody the cat the way that I wanted to and the way I seen it in my head. Um, and sometimes you think you're doing something and you're not really doing it. So you need to actually see yourself doing it so that um, <laughs> you know what it feels like to to make a particular face or um, really just be in that moment. Who would you say is the most cat-like cast member in this movie? Um, I say Francesca, you know, just being a, a classically trained ballerina, you know, she's just light on her feet, you know? Um, and, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 200 pounds, so, you know, like, <laughs> I'm just a big, big cat. <laughs> um, but yeah, cats are very light on their feet, and I think, you know, she really was able to embody the cat really, really well. One of the milestone songs in this film is the song Memory. Mm -hmm. What is your best memory from this movie? Best memory? Um, I think it's the entire experience, you know? It's like just, it was like a revolving door of, of incredible people coming in every couple of weeks, you know? So it's all constantly new energy. Um, and, you know, it was like a totally different number. So uh, things always kind of stayed exciting, you know what I'm saying? So. The entire experience, I think, is, is a, a, a moment in time that, you know, I'll never have an experience exactly like this ever again. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.